Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino. We're looking at a can that I picked up through the LCBO's uh, home delivery system. This is from the Walkerville Brewery in Windsor, Ontario. It is Easy Stout, which is a craft stout at 5.5% alcohol by volume. Oh, yeah. Uh, back here there's a penguin that says keep chilled. It's actually pretty cute. Never seen that before. Support your local brewery. Um, what do we have? Ingredients. Water, barley, lactose, hops, and yeast. Allergen warning. Contains barley and lactose. I didn't know this was a milk stout. It doesn't say milk stout on the front. It just says easy stout. Hmm. There's a talk about it being a milk stout back here. The Roaring Twenties. A decade of dapper men and dapper girls. Nowhere was it more happening than Windsor's waterfront. The gambling in secret, smoke-filled rooms was a thing to do, and speakeasies were the place to be. They combined raw excitement with the need to keep it hush-hush. Walkerville Brewery developed Easy Stout to bring that blend back to life. A pure, unpasteurized, easy-drinking milk stout. Proudly crafted at Walkerville Brewery in Windsor, Ontario. So this is supposed to bring back the, uh, the Roaring Twenties with speakeasies and, uh, and enjoying yourself while keeping it hush-hush. That sounds like drinking and driving to me. I'm fucking around, okay? I know people get all worked up. I don't condone drinking and driving. And that's why when we did the beer review, the uh, driver, when we used to do the beer reviews here every night, the driver could only have one beer at the very beginning. And then had to sit off to the side playing video games. Also, why if we didn't want to have a driver, I have three beds down here and air mattresses and everything else. Okay. So as black as the black blood of the earth. The head is a beautiful mocha brown. Tight little bubbles that are caught to continuing to expand bigger sound. There is a snap crackle pop. Scent, can I smell anything through this heavenly head? There's no lactose in that head. That's it. Just lactose. Out of the can. Hmm. Very sweet. Lactose, chocolate, almost a touch of cinnamon, and the roastiness. Yeah, that's that's weird. I would never expected that I'd scent, smell cinnamon in there. But my, my mind is giving me lactose, chocolate, cinnamon, and roast. Hmm. I forgot to close the fucking door again. It's the second time I've gone back there to wash my cup out. And the can came out here. The second time I forgot to close the door. Let's try the beer. Cheers. Oh good, we already dropped the battery acid leaking battery out of here. Look, it stained my paper. Battery leaked everywhere. I had a flashlight that worked one night and turned it on in the morning and it leaked. I just want to see the price of uh, the speakeasy here. Um, Walkerville Easy Stout. Two ninety five. So this was a three dollar and five cent can. Oh. Is it good? Sure. It's fine. 
That's a nice drinking stout. It's a nice session stout. Is it worth three dollars and five cents a can? Mm, that's debatable. It matters what you like. Um, if it's overpriced, it's only overpriced by like thirty, thirty or forty cents compared to things in its in its range, at least here in Ontario. Um, nice lactose sweetness, not overpowering. Actually, instead of instead of the finish being very lactose forward, it's uh, it's uh, roasted coffee and uh, charred wood on the f on the finish. A little bit of lactose up at the forefront, a little bit of caramel up at the forefront, a little bit of uh, of chocolate at the forefront. Back end, uh, roasted wood, roasted uh, roasted coffee, and almost like a dark chocolate as well. Body a little thinner than you'd expect. Uh, I'd probably say. Uh, uh, low, me low to medium, like light to medium, instead of uh, medium to medium high, which is what I'd expect from a milk st It's been one of those days, guys. It's been one of those days. Fuck, everything went wrong at work, and now I'm spilling beer on my hand. Just wiped it on my shirt because I'm an idiot, so I might as well just wipe it off the table with the rest of the shirt, because now the shirt has to be cleaned anyway. Ugh. And if you're wondering what I meant by now the shirt has to be cleaned anyway, I only wear the shirt for the two or three reviews I'm going to do, and then I take it off. So it doesn't need to be cleaned after 30 minutes of wearing it, unless I did something idiotic like I just did. It's not a bad beer. I'd say it's comparable to something like, um, like uh, Railway City's uh, Black Coal Stout. Which isn't a milk stove, so it's not quite as sweet. But I'd say, uh, realistically, it's it's quality-wise about there. So it's it's a good stout. It's just not a spectacular stout. Uh, if this is your local stout, it's probably worth buying. I mean, you can. I don't know what they're going to charge you for a pint at the bar, but you. It's probably worth buying at the at the bottle shop. It's probably worth buying at the tap room. Uh, if you're at a local eatery that has it, it could food pair really well. Um, is it something, say, like, uh, BCBS or anything like that? Not, not at all, but who, not every beer is. This is a nice, easy-drinking beer, and that's, that's all. That's all. And that's all you want, at times. Um, uh, out of ten? Probably give it a 7.75. I actually enjoy it. I just don't know if I would buy it very often. Now, when you compare this three dollar and ten cent can to say um, Black Coal Stout, which is something like four or five bucks a bottle, and the bottle's a five hundred milliliter instead of a oh, what it, they they can it now too. I don't know what it is canned. I've never bought it canned. I've only ever gotten it in the five hundred milliliter bottle. So canned, it might it might be about the same price. I don't know. Uh, I haven't again. I haven't bought one canned, but I remember when it was bottled, it was like four fifty a bottle. Uh, and in that aspect, though I gave it a better score for taste, I would pick this up before that. Um, that one's just less sweet, and now it's heavier body. The first time I ever had it, it was fairly light. Now it's a heavier body beer. This is just a little lighter. If this was a heavier body beer, with, with the same taste profile, it would probably be worth an 8.5 for me. It's, it's actually really nice. It just leaves you wanting a little bit because of the, uh, the profiles on it. But, it's a nice beer. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Walkerville. Bye-bye.